you're bringing in four linebackers. How do you see that shaking out? You, do you have guys slotted for middle, weak, and outside? Yeah, you know, I, I think if you just if you press me right now, Austin Gray, we're thinking about as a Mike, you know, a middle guy, and I think the other guys, uh, uh, you know, have the versatility probably to play outside, but they they probably could move inside too. And it's a little bit like our our, our group right now on campus. Uh, uh, you know, I, I pulled our staff, uh, you know, right the week we got back after the bowl game. Whatever that was, Thursday, I think we met. And I asked everybody to predict who our linebackers are going to be, or to give me our two deep for next year at linebacker. And I think I got eight different answers, eight out of ten or eight out of whatever. You know, it was a kind of interesting. So, you know, that, that's a good thing. I think, you know, it's good that, I mean, really Pat, Pat's probably a better will linebacker, but he played pretty good at Mike. And, you know, I think it's good to have that kind of versatility. And I think these guys, uh, the guys that we've got in this, this group here, really are going to have that kind of versatility too. So we're, we're fine with that. Given the way the, the depth chart, you know, with Belaga leaving and, Having a couple of seniors, do, do Will uh, Donald and Sure for any of those guys have a shot next year? Yeah, I mean we'll see. It, it's really uh, uh, with Balaga really being the exception. Brian uh, came in and played a lot as a freshman, uh, but that, that's so uncommon for us. If we're counting on that, then we, we really screwed up. Uh, and if it happens, that's a good thing. Uh, but I, I think realistically, hopefully they can come in and get their feet on the ground. If they can contribute a little bit, great. But I think more importantly. Uh, a year from spring, you know, hopefully they'll be right in the thick of things. And, uh, you know, there are two guys we're really excited about, too. I think they've got great potential. So uh, that, that's a good news. But, you know, I, I, you know, I really hate for any uh, incoming player to, to feel like, boy, they got to come in and save our football team. Hopefully we're going to get some guys make contributions. I think that will be the case. But, you know, uh, it's kind of like summer school. I, I just I don't think you put that kind of pressure on a first-year guy. And if it happens, beautiful. Uh, but if, if it doesn't, too, you know. We're just trying to get their feet on the ground, get them, get them going the right direction. Do you expect? Uh, you know, I know you got three safeties. I think uh, with the depth chart there, do you see any of those guys maybe jumping in? Uh, yeah, I think it's possible because we, we don't have a lot of depth right now. We you know, feel great about our experience at both starting positions, and uh, they won't be out there again this spring. They both are uh, had off-season surgery, uh, like they did a year ago. So, uh, you know. When you guys come out to the scrimmage uh, April 17th, it's going to be the same old thing. You know, geez, I don't know, going to look very good. Hopefully we'll look better when, uh, you know, fall rolls around. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's very possible. Uh, we're going to need some guys to get involved in the two deep, and uh, we'll see what kind of competition we have this spring. Uh, the guys that are, are healthy are going to have a great opportunity to uh, get some quality work and, and show what they can do. And, uh, you know, then and we'll see what the young guys can do when they get here. But that, that is something we're hoping uh, maybe we can get a little bit of help there.